night. He's now the victim of a witch hunt. Yeah. Mark France faces a disciplinary hearing tomorrow at the town's job centre, where he works as a junior civil servant. He says he fears for his job. He's been talking to our political editor, Patrick Burns. Mark France is the man who took the Westminster expenses story onto the streets of Bromsgrove. They have nearly 6,000 signatures calling for her to go, not as planned at the election, but now. Mr. France is at the centre of an unprecedented furore, and tomorrow at the town's job centre, he faces a disciplinary hearing which he fears could cost him his own job there. His initial six-month probationary period is due to be completed near the end of next month, but he's been off sick since Monday and now fears the loss of his job could cost him his house as well. We're in negative equity and uh, uh, we could end up homeless. He says the code of conduct normally used to stop senior civil servants criticising their political masters in public is being applied to a junior administrative officer on under 15,000 a year. I spoke to the media outside of work's time. It doesn't impact on how I do my job professionally. I try and represent the ordinary people who come to me as job seekers. And he says he'll be back on Bromsgrove High Street again on Saturday afternoon as usual, come what may. In a brief statement, the Department for Work and Pensions tell me they can't comment on individuals. However, all staff are bound by the Civil Service Code. People employed in the government must remain strictly impartial in all their dealings when representing their department. Patrick Burns, BBC Midlands Today, Bromsgrove. Hundreds of residents are back in their Herefordshire